Sure, crickets are pretty cool, but tree crickets are way cooler. If you're an insect lover and you don't know about tree crickets, you're missing out big time. So join me in this video as we go over every tree cricket I've ever found, and then afterwards we'll look at some more interesting cricket content. Dog with the butter, butter dog. Oh, but the butter on. Frog, frog, with, the with, the frog with the ginger ale. Frog with the ginger ale. Frog with the ginger. Frog with the ginger ale on. Frog with the ginger ale on him. So now, it's winter. There's no crickets, no Katie dids, no nothing. So to keep this video going, so it's not a two-minute video, uh, we're gonna take a look at a couple species that I personally like, and then we'll look at some other stuff after. Also, I forgot to add while I was editing my target species for this year. So let's go over those real quick. So first we have the two-spotted tree cricket. And yes, I have seen one of these before, but that was all the way back in 2020, and I still haven't seen one since. And since it was my first ever tree cricket find, I think it'd be pretty cool to revisit this one. My next goal for this year is gonna be the black-horned tree cricket. This is probably one of the coolest looking tree crickets in my opinion, and they also sound pretty cool. So I am within range for these, but there is a look-alike species called the Forbes tree cricket, which is uh, more of a Midwest species. And they sometimes can be lighter, but at the same time, blackhorn tree crickets can also be lighter. So there's really no way to tell them apart in the field unless you have uh, very good audio recordings of them. But either way, uh, I'm not in range for the Forbes, so I don't have to worry about that. 
And my final target for this year is going to be the Handsome Trig, also known as the Red-Headed Bush Cricket. Now, I am slightly out of range for these, but they have been found somewhat close to me, so I think there's a chance I might run into one. And yes, trigs are bush crickets, technically not tree crickets, but they're very close cousins, so I'm going to throw them in the mix. So now we can head to the species features. So the first one I want to share is actually a mystery species from uh, October of 2023. So this is really recent. This was found in the Mojave Desert in California. And uh, Nancy Collins, who is a tree cricket expert, uh, she even said that it's possible that this is an undescribed species. And it is very unique looking, so very cool. The other species I'd like to share is the green tree cricket. So yes, that is a boring name, but this is not a boring species. It looks more like a katydid rather than a tree cricket. It's an Asian species, uh, nicknamed the green cockroach in Japan, and the heavenly bell in China, although, in my opinion, it just sounds like a regular tree cricket, but they look pretty cool. So the first site I'd recommend is Songs of Insects, uh, very user-friendly. Uh, the next site I'd recommend is Singing Insects of North America, or the, uh, the CINO website, as I call it. Uh, pretty much a fully comprehensive site for pretty much all Orthoptera in North America. Um, it's got sounds, uh, maps, pretty much everything that you would ever need uh, on that site. And last but not least, I'd recommend Ocanthonae.com and anything with Nancy Collins, the one who she uh, commented on this post. Uh, she does have a YouTube channel too, so definitely recommend checking that out and giving her a follow. So hopefully I was able to shed some positive light on tree crickets. Um, I mean, when it comes to bug hunting, I think they're probably some of the coolest uh, to encounter. Um, you know, same thing with katydids. You can always hear them, but you can never see them. Uh, so then when you actually do find them, it's, it's that, that much more hype uh, to find them. So yep, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.